You're thinking about launching a new product on Amazon, but you're unsure, is this a good idea? Is this gonna work out? Is there enough sales volume? My name is Stephen Pope and I'm the founder of my Amazon guy. And today we're gonna be looking at this churro mix. This is a newer item. There's not a lot of sales history. And, and we could use a tool like Helium 10 to check out all of these details. And so what I'm gonna do in this video is I'm gonna go through how we determine, like, is this product gonna succeed on Amazon? Why or why not? First thing we can do is to pull up X-Ray inside of Helium 10. This is a Chrome extension that you can enable. You click on the button, hit X-Ray, boom, it pops up. And here you can see that only three sales in the last 30 days. It's, a, it's just launching, it's tentative, it's primitive, it's not off the ground quite yet. Okay, so the next thing that I would do is say, cool, so we know it's not selling on this particular listing that I happen to land on. I could go over to another tool called Black Box inside of Helium 10, and in here, instead of us trying to find the sales history of a particular ace, and what we're gonna do instead is to look up the keyword behind it and decide is there a search volume behind it. So we'll type in churro mix, hit search, and this is part of the keywords tab. I'll highlight that right there. So if you're trying to replicate this, and we scroll down, and here we can see a search volume of 436. What that means is this is a pretty niche product. Uh, in grocery, generally speaking, it's gonna be a low margin. So we got low margin and we have low search volume. But is it seasonal? Let's check that out. So we click on this little box, look at the sales history. We got a 12 month span, an all time span here. And we see that this spikes in December, right around December 15th, Christmas rush, four or five times as many people are searching for a churro mix spikes in December with the Christmas rush up to 2,000 in search volume. So it's a little bit seasonal, but not really. It's pretty stable right around that 500 search volume um, mechanism during the rest of the year, but a 4X spike during December. So that's directional, that's helpful. Is there alternative keywords like churro batter mix, churro mix kit? We can add up all of these to get kind of an idea of the sector or the vertical. We're looking at still under 600, 700 monthly search volume overall. We could then take a step back and say, cool, well, maybe the mix element is too much. Let's get rid of the word mix. Let's just type in churro, see what comes up with that. 1700 search volume there. Let's see if there's any history with that as well. And interestingly enough, uh, right around Cinco de Mayo, that May 3rd spike right there at 3,100. Uh, and the December spike doesn't really exist that much. I mean, it does, okay, there it is, at 2,500. So it's Christmas spike, Cinco de Mayo spike. And then in here we could see like cursory things. So overall summary, very niche, not necessarily a great one to enter into, but if you're already selling churro mix like these guys, you might as well embrace it, see what you can do uh, to get up and running. So they have uh, really good uh, churro mix text on the main image. I like to call this the CTR main image hack, where we come in, make sure there's a nice keyword right on the packaging. What's missing from this main image is the actual end result and the churro. So what I would probably do to improve this product, take it to the next level, uh, is I would probably showcase something like this or showcase the actual churro end result off to the side make it part of the image to get people's mouth watering. The best way to grow this product will not be to be the number one seller in churro mix. The best way to grow this product will be to convince people to gift it, to buy this. And so we're looking at keywords like gifts for him, gifts for her, um, kitchen type gifts or housewarming gifts and stuff like that, um, that will help maybe a gift for a cook, something like that to sell a product that people were not looking for and generate demand by stealing it from a secondary search term that's not related to the product, a la gift terminology. So that's how I would treat a product like this. Um, but I do think it has some opportunity. Is this a $100,000 a month product? Probably not. Could this be a $20,000, $30,000 product? Potentially. Uh, and then if you build a brand around that and have other cursory things to add to that, you can figure out the mix from there, no pun intended. Another tip I'll give you is you could go to amazon.com, type in the keyword like churro mix right here, and then use a tool such as Helium 10's X-Ray in here, 
and grab all of the sales that come up from that. And Shuromix has a category revenue size of about 700K. Uh, and that doesn't mean Shuromix has 700K, but that means that that's the product mix that showed up. So that is on the lower side. I usually like to see like north of 2.5 million personally. Uh, that doesn't mean don't do it. It just means it's gonna be uh, harder to grow in this sector. And so we can see here that 340,000 of that's coming on this particular ASIN. So if we go look at that and we find out uh, churro flavored popcorn seasoning is crushing it with 200, you know, 340,000, 37,000 reviews. Who would have known, right? Like, wow, people really like their cinnamon and sugar popcorn seasoning. Uh, that takes it to a whole new level. And so you may have started your journey to figure out whether selling churro mix was a good idea. And then you might find this random product as part of your research well, maybe I need to go into churro seasoned popcorn and do that instead. And, and so here's an example of this item crushing it, not even a well-optimized listing, but just absolutely crushing it with thousands of units in sales, 370,000 a month in search volume. Got to hand it over to these guys. They, they seem to have something figured out for them. My name is Stephen Pope. I'm the founder of My Amazon Guy. You guys want to check out the CTR main image hack next. Click this video there. And we'll be sure to subscribe and add a comment with other content you'd like to see. We'll shoot your requests.